Hey campers, Georgia, back in the man cave. And the reason I'm in the man cave today is, well, I wanted to show you my new hat. <laughs> Joking. This is a new hat and it's from Tilly and I got it from my children for Christmas. Awesome. Speaking of joking, the real reason I'm here, this guy. Let's check it out. And like I said, I was just joking about doing the hat review leading to this guy, the Joker Knife. And Joker Knives have been around for a while and they are out of Spain and been around. Like I said, they've got a, a bit of a history behind him. Nothing like the Alpenals or the, and the, the Antoninis or that sort of thing. But they've been around for a while. And as you can see, comes in a nice little box. And here's the knife here. Quick look-see. And in the box, card in there, right here. And on here it says, uh, this piece is handmade in Spain with top quality materials. By the way, right off the bat, I noticed that they talk about warranties. And this has a 10-year warranty on it. So let's look into it a little bit more. And this is the NE21 from Joker Knives. In yep. Another European knife. Came across this. I'd seen Joker around uh, online. Uh, they make a lot of knives. I just didn't know they made little folders. And I've been on a tear with those little folders trying to figure out which is the best one and and all about the European models and why and you know the story. And if you haven't seen the videos, you might want to just go to my reviews playlist and you can find them on there. There's a whole bunch. This guy is the Joker NE21 and they call it a Hicho Amano. Uh, it is a handcrafted sporting cutlery knife and that's not unusual for the Euro European pocket knives like this. They consider them cutlery knives. And this guy, like I said, is from Joker. And let's have a quick look at it. And you can see nothing fancy about it. This guy, the only reason it caught my attention was they called this a feral lock. And I wanted to have a look at that. But when it arrived and I opened it up, it's basically the same thing that Oppenol does with their lock on their thing. The difference is with the Oppenol one, it actually works. This one, not so much, but we'll get into that. So basically you have a wood handle and the blade and a, a ferrule lock system. And this one has a oak handle. The wood is oak and you can see the shape. It's a little bit different to the other ones. And it actually doesn't feel too bad. And the way it locks is just like on an Oppenol, it slides with that angle on here and the ferrule locks it in. Now it won't move. Now it is in there pretty good and that part works really great. The blade is stainless steel and I believe it is 440 stainless steel. And uh, you can see it has a drop point on it, which is pretty typical. It is a really long drop point and uh, kind of a, a saber style blade. Uh, two millimeters thick, I believe. And uh, it's the blade length, uh, 2.95, I believe, inches long uh, from the tip to right to the ferrule. And then the handle, I believe, is 2.93 inches long uh, from there to there. So overall, you've got, what, 2 point, uh, say, 3 inches, about a 6-inch knife, yeah, when it's fully open. And like I said, oak handle, uh, very plain, very simple, just like all the other, Opinel, uh Antonini, uh, all those guys. They're all making this very same sim familiar look to their pocket knives, which really they consider to be a uh, an EDC cutlery knife, um, which just you would carry in your pocket and you'd use it for eating and that sort of thing. The blade, pretty sharp. <laughs> I, I like I like the knife. It's like all the other ones. There's not a lot of difference between it. There's really not a lot of difference between any of the European ones. They all have that familiar look about them. And I kind of like it, to be honest. I'm hearing uh, nasty rumors right now. And that is, Oppenol is going to 
the plastic style handles and I'm a you know me I'm a big wood handle guy I just prefer prefer that tradition uh, the overall weight 1.76 ounces so it's not a heavy knife it's pretty light the only issue I'm having with this right now is this ferrule now it works just fine here but I want to show you something if you look here you can see the curve of the ferrule which locks the blade right there can you see that and it locks just fine the problem is i can turn this ferrule all the way around back to the open position and it's loose again it doesn't lock it doesn't allow it stop it at any any point on that slight angle over here i don't know if you can see that this actually slides right past the blade the other problem is, is that the lock on the bottom here, and I'm hoping I can show you that. You see right there, that's the lock. As I turn it, it locks the blade, okay? The problem is, it's loose. Um, which I, it's not a big problem. I, I don't see the blade coming out and hurting you. I mean, it, it drops about that much if you pull it out. But if you pull it all the way out, and then when you lock it, if you don't force it all the way around, it, it does work well. The lock works fine. It doesn't move. There's actually no movement in it. Is it a problem? Not really. I'd just like to have seen that the blade in the locking position does lock like all the other ones. Not a bad little knife. How sharp is it? It feels pretty sharp. So you can see right there, it just slides right through that. And as a food prep knife, that's not surprising. Uh, the typical thin blade. And at the grind on the blade, I'm not sure. I want to say Scandi. It's Scandi, but don't hold me to it. Um, you know, it is that saber style blade, which is pretty common. Like I said, Joker knives. Uh, they're, they're in Spain. And the town, brace yourself, Albacete, I think it is. So it's a Spanish style. Not bad. Like I said, it's basically the same as, as all the other ones. They have been around for about 30 years. So they're not new to the game here. They, they've been doing pretty good. Uh, they don't, they probably don't have as much tradition as like Opinal or, uh, Antonini, but they, they have a wide range of knives. They have belt knives, bushcraft camping, pocket knives. They have a bunch of them. And the prices vary drastically. This one, I believe, cost me about 14 bucks. And it's one of the less expensive ones. On my budget, I'm always thinking about other people and my budget. And, you know, trying to keep the price pretty reasonable. They're, they do have other styles here. And they are they get up as high as $30, $35. But they're a little bit fancier and I suspect better quality certainly in the blade and the handle and things like that so this is a very basic edc carry in your pocket every day used for you know cutting food and things like that they they have bushcraft knives camping knives hunting knives they have all thing and the price range really starts at around about 70 dollars and goes up up into the the mid to high hundreds so you're looking at maybe $160 for the, the high-end knives. A little bit out of my budget. But I'm always looking. And uh, I believe they have some bushcraft knives that are out of stock right now. But if one comes available and it's in my price range for a belt knife, I might just get one and we can have a look at it together and see what they're all about. The Joker Pocket Knife NE21 from Spain. Another European guy, pretty good, not too bad. Just that little problem with the the, uh, the ferrule uh, that locks the blade, and uh, I forget what they call it. Um, uh, viro lock, I think it's called, uh, if I remember. Yeah, that's it. It's uh, the viro lock, just like you would find on the Opinal. Not a bad little knife. Just thought I'd show it to you. I'm looking, you know, like I said, I've been on the tear on the European guys. 
and they're all pretty much the same. The handles vary, and surprisingly, this one is oak. So I can't remember what the other ones, I think there was a lot of beech that the other guys used on the knives. Don't forget now, like, share, subscribe. You know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back with something else. Probably sharp and shiny. Maybe some ice fishing. Due to go back out and ice fish a bit. The, the weather's getting a little better. It's been a little chilly to be out there and windy, which is never pleasant when you're out on the hard water. But you never know. Just saying. Thanks for watching. And you all be safe out there. Take care now.